It is that time again. It's not the news. I'm G, your host, and uh, away we go. But first, always first, trying to get that sucker. Oh, I'm going to get him yet. So, you know, we got news, intense, intense news. I'll tell you what, let's see what we got here. We got, what, what we got? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. In Manhattan, the average rent price on a one-bedroom apartment, as they say, up in New York, apartment, uh, in May was 4000 bucks. Now, June changed already. It's $5,000 and still going. Now, in Texas, of course, we ride horses. We tap the horse out front. Now, what went up for us is the gargle for the horses because you got to have some good breath, you know, from the horse when you go over and kiss the horse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to have that good breath. Moving on. All right, let's see what we got. What we got, we got. What we got, what we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we got. All right. We got uh, the PGA Championships. That's, that's uh, uh, out of Texas. We call it a P golf tournament, you know. So I don't know what the PGA is pregnant. Somebody's pregnant or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, so one of the members, the golf pros, hit the ball. He, it's doing 95 miles per hour. And it hit an ESPN reporter in the head and her name is Sage Steele. Now that's at 95 miles per hour, that's that ball's moving. So the golf pro, we're not gonna tell you who it is, but eh, nobody's looking. <laughs> His name was John Rahm, R A H M. Now here in Texas we play horseshoes. Of course, you're throwing horseshoes like this right here. And uh, if you get hit in the head by one of the horseshoes, the, the horseshoes is like this, you. You get hit and you're still cross-headed, that means you could still play. <laughs> I just love the news. <laughs> Moving on. You know, and I know, this is not the news. And I have G, your host. I'm ready to give you some more news. But before, before, uh, you know what? I see that sucker going. <laughs> got him now. Got him. I got him. So, this is moving day for me. Now, this is how I move. Done. Now, when you got insurance, usually when you get, move all your stuff and all, you get some insurance. There. Something broke during the move. There's my insurance. <laughs> this is how we do it in Texas. So let's go on moving on with some news here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. What we got here? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, America's best astrophysicists are taking UFOs seriously, finally. After all these years sweeping it under the rug, you know, they constantly so the Americans, oh, we don't need to tell them, you know. And the carpet's already, already wore out from them sweeping it under the rug. So, so that means that carpet is obsolete, you think? <laughs> Moving on. Okay. The news we got now, you're not going to believe this. The EU has proposed a ban on combustion engines by 2035. That's a few years down the road, okay? Now, that will be tough for Lamborghini and Aston Martin and Bugatti with all these expensive sport cars to deal with because you know these guys, they got all this huge money. They get the cobwebs off and the dust off their money and they won't go buy these expensive cars and, and race the crap out of them and just, or just have them in their collection. So it's like 
I think that car factories will put up a fight. What's your opinion? Call me at GG429. Call me today. I can't wait. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, more intense news. Yes, we got some news for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. A couple had sex in a personal car that was insured. And uh, this female caught HPV from this guy. Uh, some kind of uh, disease, virus, whatever, HPV. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, she sued Geico because the guy had entrance to Geico, and she won $5.2 million. So, Geico tried to appeal it. You can't appeal through arbitration. There's no appealing whatsoever. So they had to put up the money. Yes, and she got $5.2 million. I hope she got rid of the HPV, whatever that was. Now, now, if you're going to have sex, girls, well, there's a surprise attack in a car from now on. Whip out your blood test kit right away. Get that test done by the guy, you know, and uh, in a couple minutes. And if it's okay, by all means, continue either with a camera or not. It's all up to you. <laughs> yes. Now, you know what? It's been so good that we've had some news today. Read my lips. Meow.